2022 lawn art update. Lawn art's back home. Um, <clears throat> they spent the last couple of months at a couple of different shops. As I tell everyone, if you're not in a hurry, it's cheaper. So uh, after our bus conversion rally at uh, Bonelli Bluffs, we found that we had a air leak in the front axle. So uh, after the uh, event was over, we took the bus to uh, JNR, the wonderful people that made us a new engine, and uh, they repaired the uh, replaced uh, airlines on both front axles. They got our windshield wipers working, which never worked for us at all since we bought the bus in 2011. They also went through and adjusted the steering wheels so there's no play and got us good running on the road again. Something I've never shown up about this bus on video that I can think of is our front license plate is has can hold multiple plates so you push a button here this drops down and then you pull out the plates that you want Let's see if i can do this one-handed there's my plate for when we're parked 4104 2240 we have that facing outward instead of lawn art when we're at a bus rally or something then that folds back up slam back in place there you are Back before in the 1980s, a bus or a truck had to have a license plate for every state it was authorized to operate in. So this one here has enough uh, placards and space for seven, including the one facing out frontward. Pretty cool. Our FMCA number is getting a little faded. I got to apply some white paint to that, bring that back up to snuff. New blades and windshield wipers. Get around to the destination sign one day. After JNR Diesel was finished with our bus, we took it over to uh, Leisure Coachworks for a couple of things. Uh, since the first time we ever used the bus, found a couple of water leaks. They went ahead and repaired them. Are under warranty. Great job, guys. Thank you very much. They had a spare AC hatch laying or AC cover laying around, so they tossed that in. So we now have a uh, good-looking air conditioner as opposed to the hole in the side from previous winds. We have new awning fabric material. I had a heck of a time finding anything because this is a 19 and a half foot awning. Finding colors for this size are very unique, especially for a roll-up system. So this is an old uh, awning, so they found some material. It's blue. That's okay. The blue and the uh, magenta go together. Those are the houses, the colors inside our house. They had a battery laying around, so we have a new house battery for the time being. It's a small one. It operates everything. I'll show you inside when we go inside. So that's that update. The bus is looking a little bit low, but that's because the way we parked it, our driveway isn't perfectly flat. But kind of like you got your own step in without having a step. Well, the bus was at Leisure Coach Works. We had some uh, housekeeping things done. One, these have now have second latches to hold them shut. Because we go down a bumpy road and half these cabinets would open up. So they are now all have two locks on them and they're bitter. Someone asked me, well, why don't you just replace everything? Well, I can't afford to replace all the cabinets with brand new latches and material. If this works. We just this is the original one that's the new one you can see where it used to dig in down there maybe one day maybe the next coach owner will make those improvements I'm very happy with the interior of this coach uh, they had to reshore the cabinets because they were slacking down you know previous owner who knows what they did how they did everything else we enjoy the coach we have Coming back, there used to be a propane heater. That's the controller for it. Well, I'm not worried about that. It's now disconnected. The, con the unit was down here at the bottom, this area here. And it took up this entire area. See that foam down there? That seals off the air conditioner and this... Uh, 
area from the gunk that was in there. I guess the original um, converter didn't think about stuff like carbon monoxide. So the uh, cabinet for the refrigerator was not sealed from the rest of the coach. So now this seals all the bad air, it keeps the bad air out and good air in. Something else they did to replace our refrigerator, it took a dive, it died on us when we were at our first camp out. So they found us a new Dometic. Keep things cold. Got a different handle system on it where you push to the right and then pull. And it keeps everything cold. It's a three-way, so we can do propane, AC, or DC. Bottom half, hey, this is cool. Light comes on. Never had a light in the old fridge. So see the tape still on there. There's a little drip tray right there, and drip tray drains or vents to the outside world. But it's a good-looking refrigerator. I don't need the wood grain. If I have a desire for the wood grain, I'll order some. But again, this is our coach. We enjoy it as it is. I, I'm 63 years old. I don't see myself rebuilding this coach to anything really special. Okay, here's our new shower curtain. The bus originally did not have a shower curtain. It was physically impossible to take a shower without getting everything wet. This is a custom design. We'll see if it works. There's snaps up here to snap it in. It's kind of dense. Let's see here. I'm a big guy and I will fit. I've measured myself in this thing. I could take a shower if I need to. Over there's a the mixer valve. Here is a shower. You can unplug. Let's see if I can. This thing's heavy. This comes off. Okay. This has released so little people like Chuck can take a shower in here. It's adjustable. Let's see here. So you can adjust down, you can adjust up. You can take it out, shower everything, put it back, and then when you have somebody my height, you push the button and you take it all the way up to the top. And look at that, I have a nice track. I tested it, it works with the water pump, it works with city water, and here's the snaps I was talking about. These just snap on like that. There you go. And then nice thick shower curtain. It'll keep the water out of the bathroom. And then there's our bed. Uh, many years ago, I had them turn and rebuild the platform. Bad idea on John's part. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to get uh, put some plywood across here so the bottom of the bed is supported. That's my bag, but the passenger compartment is, or the bedroom, is really nice. The back window there does open, according to everyone I've talked to. I just have to go in there and clean some paint out, do some lubrication, and be able to open that as a vent. The uh, Both windows there will open, so we can get ventilation, but why do you need ventilation when you have a rooftop air conditioner above the bed. So, there's lawn out in a nutshell. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we had them do. Took out the heater, gave us a new refrigerator freezer, fixed the snaps on those, fixed up the shower. Yep. So all the work we had done at Leisure Coach Works this time around. They're great people do. They 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 do excellent work. They're on the phone with you or they're sending emails with you to make sure that you're right on track with what you want to do and what you want to get done. And they do it. It's quality work. I mean, it's... Uh, I did an article for Bus Conversion Magazine about the first work they did where they went in and replaced all these lights for us. And let's see if I can get the light to work now that I know how they work better. Okay, this is 25%. Okay, turn it on. That's 25%. That's 50%. That's 75%. It would help if I aimed the camera. So 75, 50, 25, and off. There you go. Well, there's a lawn art update for you. 
see you on the road. I get the requests request from time to time. Lawn Art PD4104 2240s driver's compartment. So driver's area. So we have a drive toll window that does open. I have the parts to make I put a handle on there. Haven't got around to it yet. Spotlight does not work, it's disconnected. This window does open and this window opens. And when this one opens, you have the uh, screen out there to keep the bugs from coming in to visit you when you're driving. Coming down here, sorry for the fingers, can't help it, it's a phone. This is choke, start, master switch for the air conditioner. Shows uh, cooling off and heating. None of that's connected that I know of. This one here says buzzer, driver's fan, driver's light. All these are disconnected as far as I know. I haven't been into the compartment down there to know for sure, but I don't know where the driver's, the driver's fan on the dash doesn't work. And I don't know what the buzzer would be. This switch here, we didn't know what it was. Found it by accident, driving down the road. Um, it's hazard light switch. Go figure, flip the switch. We have hazards and light flashes for the turn signals and also with the sign light flashes tells you that you have, let me find it, where is it? It's gotta move the steering wheel. There it is, there's the light. Okay, we'll turn that off. Johnson brake is disconnected, but hey, I like vintage stuff, it stays. Next owner doesn't like it, he can get rid of it. Buttons down there on the floor. You have high beam switch and air horn switch. There's your clutch pedal. There's your brake and accelerator pedals. Our shifter has a Coors, Coors logo on it. I guess the previous owner was a beer fan. I mean, down below the, this ignition switch, you need to have a key on for this bus to start. There's our parking brake, and those two switches are for the left and right windshield wiper. Tack is on the top. We have a diffuser cap missing right here. You can't really tell. There's, it looks like there's a hole. That hole should have a cover on it for the defroster. Oil pressure is a lower left gauge. Lower right gauge is water pressure or water temperature. Above it is a speedometer. It does not work. I bought a replacement GPS one. One day it'll get installed. Uh, left side switch is if you have the key on the on position, turn the key on, hit the starter, hit the engine run. Then you have emergency stop and reverse gear down there. Coming over here on the right side, you have air pressure gauge, an empty gauge down here. Don't know what went there. Maybe somebody knows. Here's a voltage gauge. I got a ton of these bezels. I'm thinking this is in stock. Someone can tell me that this was just something that a previous owner added because I got plastic rings to put on all these if I want them, but I think I like the look without them. On the right side here, move the string wheel around and see if we can get to this. This is headlight switch. This is marker clearance lights. This is a sign light. Doesn't work. One day we'll put something up in there. Next switch is defrost, low and high. Defroster does work. Next one is a general reading light switch. That's been disconnected. Don't know what I'll put on there. Uh, the rest of the diffusers go across. They're brass covered. There's one there. There's one there. And one over there. These two fans do not work. They're on the list. The door opens with that as a controller. We lock the door with a key. And the button on the front of the bus works so we can push the button and open it that way too. So there's the driver's area of Lawn Art. Hope you enjoy this.